In this video I will be showing you how to do a hybrid resection with RTK in magnet field 5.0. Some of the system requirements that you will need for this setup is a GNSS RTK receiver with a UHF or network correction, a robotic total station, a data recorder with magnet field and a hybrid license. The solution includes this hybrid license. You don't require any known control points a known projection datum or localization, and a range pole with ATP1 prism and hybrid adapter. From the main screen of magnet field, we will go into configure and then survey. Ensure that we have selected the correct GNSS setup and optical configuration, and we can just hit close and go into coordinate system. Ensure that we are working on a known projection or datum, and localization and a geo being applied if necessary. We can back out to the main screen and go into edit points and we can see that we have no points in our list. This is because during the hybrid resection routine the total station will be using the RTK solution for its two or more control points to calculate the occupation point of the total station. And again, back on the main screen of magnet field, we will go into connect, ensure that hybrid positioning is ticked, connect to the GPS or the total station first, and then connect to the other one automatically. Once you have found the Bluetooth device of both, you will notice at the top right hand corner, you will see a GPS and a total station symbol, indicating that you have successfully connected to both instruments. And we are seeing the three green bars indicating that we are receiving radio. In this case, we are receiving entrip correction over the network. Up the top right, we can hit the button for GPS or total station to go into either mode. We'll go into GPS mode and go into setup and then status. Ensure that we have a fixed solution. We are seeing visible satellites and we have a good RMS value for horizontal and vertical. And then we can back out to the main screen of magnet field and change to the total station mode ready for the resection. We can see here we have a quick visual demonstration of how to do a resection in the field. We have the total station in our arbitrary position and we will go over two marks that are identifiable to the surveyor that can be checked onto later even though these are not known we just pick a nail in the car park and an actual known control point in the footpath we now jump into the software to see how to do the resection in the software so back on the main screen magnet field ensure we are in total station mode up the top and we'll go into setup and then resection once in the resection screen, we can enter in a occupation point name and a code and a height if desired. Typically we leave this as zero because the resection is an arbitrary setup. But if you are setting up over a point, you can measure down to the point to establish a new control point. We can go up into the magnet symbol under options. This is where we can see the resection calculation method. The residuals will show in the results and also the tolerances that will be used. And if we are applying a scale factor, once we backed out, we can go into the magnet symbol again and go into setup and we can see if there's a tick box next to setup for 3DMC. If you'd like to know more information about this, please watch the Magnet 5 How To LPS Setup video to explain this in more detail. Once all the information has been entered, simply hit the next button. Ensure that we have entered in the prism pole height and we have the correct prism constant. Because we don't have any control points, we have to give this a point name. In this case, we just call it point one. And we're using this for the horizontal and the vertical. And we can hit the lock symbol to lock on to our backside target point. You'll notice that the hybrid button is greyed out. This is because we haven't orientated the total station yet to be able to use its functionality. And once we have completed the resection, this button will be able to be used in the topo and stakeout routines. We can go up into the 
cog settings at the top right to change uh, measurement method if we want to, uh, change our prism type or target type. Uh, we can add in a new prism if we have to, if we don't have the correct one in here. This is mainly in terms of the hybrid positioning antenna offset. The default for the ATP1 with hybrid adapter is 55mm, but if you are using a different prism constant or you've got a different antenna hybrid adapter you would need to make a new prism. The hybrid antenna distance is from the base of the GPS antenna being used to the center of the prism being tracked by the total station. Once all these details are correct you can go back to the resection screen, confirm that all the data has been entered and you're locked onto the prism and you can simply hit the measure button. As soon as you hit the measure button for the total station it will change over to the GPS automatically and it will prompt you for a GPS reading and once you are happy you can simply hit the measure button so this means you now have a total station reading and a GPS reading for that first occupation point and now it's asking you for a second point so we'll give this a point name of two again using this for the horizontal and vertical ensuring we are using the correct code and prism height we will now turn to our second occupation point ensure that we are locked on to the prism and measuring a distance the save icon again it will prompt you for a GPS reading for that second point ensuring that you not move and we'll hit save this warning is just about the 3dmc setup quickly close this so now we can see the resection results in terms of the angle and the easing and northing and height residuals for each point a estimated scale factor and whether these points are being used for horizontal or vertical positioning for a resection there needs to be a minimum of two points ideally three or more will improve the accuracy of the occupation point and then we can hit accept to save the occupation point and this next step is just for the 3dmc setup ensuring the selected backside point is still being occupied and we'll hit measure in order to save this backside information for setup in 3dmc once we're back on the main screen of magnet field still in the total station mode we can go into stake and then points we will pick our first resection point that we occupied and we'll just use this as a check shot ensuring we have entered the correct prism height and we'll hit stake. You will now notice that the hybrid positioning button is now illuminated because we have established the orientation of the total station and now we can simply hit the hybrid positioning button and the instrument will turn to our GPS location searching horizontally first and then vertically for the prism and this will automatically lock onto the prism and start measuring again. So it's a very quick and precise way to re-establish the location of your prism to continue your stakeout or your topo. We can see here that the check shots are within tolerance and we can hit the GPS symbol up the top and we can change into GPS mode to make sure that our GPS is reading in the correct position and we'll change back to total station mode and we'll back out to the main screen of magnet field. We'll go into survey and then topo. And again, we're in the total station mode and we can see that the hybrid positioning button is still illuminated. And again, as soon as we press this button, the instrument would turn on the horizontal and then vertical and automatically lock back onto the prism within a matter of seconds. So you can continue your topo survey. And again, like in stakeout, we can change to GPS mode quickly with the press of a button in case we can no longer see the instrument location and we can continue our pickup using the GPS. And once we in view of the total station, we can again hit the high button to lock back onto the prism for a more accurate survey. And we can navigate back to the main screen of Magnet Field. And this concludes the Magnet 5 How-To Hybrid Resection RTK.